Hey, good morning. I pray you're doing well. And I really want to bring this message. I am astonished that we are still going over elementary teachings within the Word of God. You know, Scripture tells that fools despise wisdom. In the last days, there will be mockers and scoffers that because those who do not seek the truth, those who do not fully commit their life to Christ, that a delusion will come and that many will believe in that delusion and they will perish for lack of knowledge, the scriptures say. I want to read to you something first out of the book of Proverbs. And so please bear with me. You know, I uh, I should ha- I should actually have these larger letters, <laughs> but uh, just sit back and listen to this, because I want to make sure that we understand why everything is going on, and it is directly related to the lack of wisdom, for the for the unpursuit of knowledge. And what I mean by that, people who do not pursue knowledge. They just listen to what comes from the pulpit, and they do not ever research things for themselves. And so I'm going to go ahead and start, okay? This is Proverbs 1. Uh, Let's see. I'll just get started. To know wisdom and instruction, to understand the words of insight, to receive instruction in wise dealings, in righteousness, justice, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, knowledge to the discerning, to the youth, let wise hear and increase in learning. To the one who understands, obtain guidance. To understand a proverb and sing the words of the wise and their riddles. To fear, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hear my son your father's instruction and forsake not your mother's teaching. For they are a graceful garland for your head. A pendant for your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. And many churches are enticing their parishioners to sin. To actually go against the word of God. Because, again, they choose not to follow wisdom. They choose to follow a man, a religion, some doctrine that is not even biblical. Let's see. Alrighty. My son, do not walk in the way of them. Hold back your foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. For in vain they set a net spread wide in the sight of any bird. Let these men lie in wait for their own blood. They set an ambush for their own lives. Such are the ways of anyone who is greedy or unjust for gain. It takes away the life of its possessor. Wisdom cries aloud in the streets. In the market, she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. At the entrance of the city gate, she speaks. How long, O simple ones, will you be simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing? And fools hate knowledge. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. Again, if you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make my words known to you. Because I called and you refused to listen. Stretched out my hand and no one has heeded. Because you have ignored all my counsel and have none of my reproof, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you. When terror strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me, because they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. Have none of my counsel and despise my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat their fruit of their ways and have their fill of their own devices. For the simple are killed by turning away, and the complacency of fools destroys them. But whoever listens to me will dwell secure and will be at ease without dread or disaster. My son, if, my, if you receive my words and treasure 
up my commands with you, making your attentive to wisdom, and incline your ear to understanding. Yes, if you call out for insight, if you call out for insight, and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it like hidden treasure, you will understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield for those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of the justice and watching over the ways of the saints. They will understand the righteousness and justice and equity and every good path. For wisdom will come onto the heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discerning will watch over, understanding will guard you. Delivering you from evil, from the man of perverse speech, who forsake the paths of righteousness and uprightness, to walk in the way of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in perverseness of evil. Men whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. And we see this every day. Thank you, Lord, for that word. We as followers of Jesus Christ must put an effort into the study of the Word of God. Again, like I mentioned before, Scripture is very clear. It says in the last days there will be scoffers and mockers. And as of late, these are not scoffers and mockers from the world. These are scoffers and mockers from within who they call the body of Christ. This should not be so. I actually thought we were beyond the understanding of the rapture. The rapture is absolute sound biblical doctrine and throughout scripture. The rapture, the catching away, the harpazo, the rescue is mentioned in almost every single solitary book of the Bible. And yet many, many choose not wisdom. Many choose to follow the ways of this world. To follow the, follow the doctrine of perverse men. And so we must have understanding. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain a couple of things really quick. That I apparently are very difficult to understand for many. And, you know, uh, I, I hate even giving these teachings because I'm beyond shocked that I have to. Let's go through this. We have to remember that the Holy Word, the Bible, was not originally wrote in English. The Bible was wrote originally in Aramaic and in Greek. And in the Old Testament, it was wrote in Hebrew, or the Hebraic language. So, for example, in the New Testament, when the Bible was being penned, it was wrote in Aramaic and in Greek. So there are words that are spoken in Aramaic and Greek that do not find its way into the English Bible because of the translation. So, for example, the event... Now, listen to this closely. The event that we call, that Christ's followers call, that those who are sealed in Jesus Christ and are waiting upon him call the rapture is a term for an event. An event that will take place because it is throughout Scripture and Scripture never comes back void. And the Word of God is true. We must let this settle into our hearts. So, for example, I'll give you a couple examples. The Aramaic name for Jesus Christ, for Jesus, is Yeshua. Yeshua is never found in the English version of the Bible, at least most of them. Some have begun to put his name back in there. The name for Abba Father, for Father God, for the Creator, is Yahweh, or Yahweh as we call it. Never found in the English Bible, but we know who they are. As a matter of fact, all of the words that came from Aramaic and Greek are essentially not in the English Bible. Okay, now that we have that settled and we have understanding, and I hope we have understanding in this, 
when it was beginning to be translated, when, for example, the word harpazo, which literally means caught up, taken, taken by force, caught away, rescued, snatched from harm's way, and again, I challenge you to study that in the Greek. Harpazo is Greek for caught up. So in 1 Thessalonians, it's explaining what's going to go on at the rapture and why the rapture has to take place. And so the word harpazo, when it was being translated from one language to the next centuries ago, it was translated from Greek into Latin. The Latin word for harpazo, or caught up, or taken, or taken by force, or caught away, is raptoro. That is where we get the word rapture from. Again, focus on the event and not the term. So, let's fast forward. I went through a couple other translations, and when it finally made it to English, the word rapturo was translated into caught up in English. And I hope this is making sense. I am shocked that we have not moved beyond this. Scripture tells us that Jesus Christ himself says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. And there are still those who are, are focused on the term and not the event. Rapture is not in the Bible. Well, literally it is in the Bible. I just explained it to you. I just explained how this goes, and I can go deeper. I've, I've made like probably 20 videos about this, and it's throughout. I mean, you can find this anywhere. This is not new information. But again, Scripture tells us that my people perish for lack of knowledge. In the last days, there's going to be a deception that goes out. Please understand that we are in the final hours of humanity that we are at the very precipice, at the cusp of time. Those who are sealed in Christ, those who truly follow Jesus Christ, will be taken in the rapture. Will be taken in the rapturo. Will be taken in the harpazo. Will be caught up. These are all one and the same. We must end this. People are making a stand on something that's going to Put them into a situation because if you do not believe in the rapture of Jesus Christ, in the catching away, let's just see, I believe we use the word catching away or the or or the caught up. The caught up. If you if you're not part of the caught up, which is the rapture, because that's just a term that Christ followers use, you'll be left here. You'll be left here to endure the tribulation. This is about faith. This is about the understanding of what Jesus Christ, what Abba Father is doing. He's going to rescue those who are sealed in him from his own wrath. The Father is bringing the wrath invoked by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is opening the seals that we see going on right now. Today, fully commit your life to Jesus Christ. This is so important. We are at the very end. Stop playing games. Stop leading those astray. The rapture is in the Bible. I'll make a couple more videos about this, but at that point... We got to move on. Fully commit your life to Jesus Christ right now before it's too late. I love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye bye.